Hey y'all, hi, how's it going? How you doing? How you been? <laughs> Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. My name is Mandy. Thank y'all so, so much for being here. Today's video, we're going to be talking about upcoming spring, summer, 2023 fashion trends, breaking things down, talking some mad shit. Because some of these trends, y'all, <laughs> calling the police. <laughs> And we are also going to be discussing whether or not I will be partaking in said trends in the 2023 year. So if that sounds good to you and you enjoy plus size fashion on a budget, then please consider liking and subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. And now let's get into the heart of the video. All right, y'all. So the first trend that we're going to be seeing in today's video and that has been covering the runways for spring and summer 2023 is going to be excess pockets. And I'm talking about cargo pockets, zip pockets, saddle pockets, sport pockets. If you need a place to store your tots, this will definitely be a trend that you're going to find very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee it. And you know, personally, I have no problem having a garment with an extra pocket or two. I find in the right situation or the right scenario, it could be freaking awesome. Like I have cargo pants, I have cargo jeans, I have jackets with extra pockets and you know, like zippy things here and there. But damn it, I do not want to walk around looking like a meme or looking like I'm coming out of a Zoolander <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Moisture is the essence of wetness and wetness is the essence of beauty i'm not a person to follow trends just for the sake of being trendy i might like take bits and pieces here and there or inspiration here and there and incorporate it into my everyday life but excess zippers excess pockets excess things for the sake of a trend just doesn't make sense to me. But y'all let me know if you would like to see a separate video of me trying out all these different trends, but of course, you know, make it plus size because I am a plus size busty lady. Um, I think that would be a lot of fun though. So <laughs> y'all let me know. So the next trend that I think that we're gonna be seeing kind of trickle down into our local stores is going to be something called extreme hips, at least according to British Vogue. So according to them, we're gonna be seeing like bustles, we're gonna be seeing very accentuated ruffles right there at the hips, which is fantastic for plus size people, I'm just saying. But of course, you know, runway doesn't necessarily mean ready to wear. It's supposed to be more or less, we're taking inspiration here and there, and we're gonna see that trickling down into the stores. So I'm thinking what we're probably gonna be seeing is like very embellished peplum tops that just kind of give a lot of girth around the hips or very floofy, like fluffy tooled skirts. Hopefully all this without excess pockets. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So now we're taking it back across the pond to US Vogue and trend number three is definitely something that I can 100% get behind and that is detailed denim. Specifically speaking, and I have literally tried to say that word <laughs> like for 15 minutes, specifically speaking, <laughs> we're supposed to be seeing denim with pleating, with lacing, with extra bits that make it look distinct and expensive. And I love that idea. So that is definitely a trend that you're gonna be seeing here on my channel, probably ad nauseum, because denim is just one of those things that you can dress up or down. If you can find a really good denim piece, which I just filmed a universal standard denim haul, definitely check that out. I will link it right up here somewhere when it's made available. And the wonderful thing about denim is how easily accessible it is to every single price point. I mean, you can literally find denim at your local thrift store. You can find it on eBay. You can find it on Poshmark. You can find it at Walmart, at Kmart. You can find high-end denim, low-end denim. And then you can take it home with a really quick DIY project and make it so distinctively yours. And to me, in my humble opinion that nobody asked for, that is the true epitome of fashion. Okay, so the next trend that I saw on US Vogue that made me seriously do an eye roll <laughs> is one that I feel like wasn't that long ago. Like I feel like I was doing YouTube when this trend was a thing. And that is statement leggings. <laughs> no, yes, you heard it right. <laughs> that means like animal print leggings, 
geometric print leggings, floral leggings, and God forbid the whole like galaxy leggings coming back. <laughs> to me, it just feels like yesterday that our favorite emo rockers were just trolling around Los Angeles wearing the galaxy leggings. Uh, <laughs> Vogue is calling them power pants, which um, is just, I don't even know how to feel about it. Like I have no problem with leggings. It's just like these style leggings, like the prints on these leggings do nothing nice for a plus size person with problem areas. Like have you ever seen a plus size person who has like problem areas on the inside? I'm specifically talking about myself wearing these style leggings. It just looks like white. Like the pattern is just so stretched out that it all turns white and it's just such a sad, sad thing. This is a sad day. I kind of feel like I'm being a party pooper because I was in my early 30s, maybe my mid 30s when the whole like statement legging was a thing. And you know, don't get me wrong, I love a good legging. I think they're practical, comfortable, you can sleep in them, you can roll out of bed and go work out in them, you can wear them all day and be really comfortable, but every single time I wear a legging for an excessive amount of time, I have to buy boric acid suppositories. That's always a ton of fun. <laughs> like if you've never been a part of the boric acid club, then um, you know, and really quickly, before we proceed any more into this video, I just wanna apologize for my very excessive butthole lip. <laughs> I have applied and reapplied this lipstick over and over and over again, but I just seem to want to consume lipstick today. So it's just gonna be what it's gonna be. So the fifth trend for spring, summer 2023, and it's one that the US Vogue and British Vogue seem to kind of agree on is grunge revisited. So basically plaid tops, plaid bottoms, plaid shoes, plaid accessories, plaid handbags, the 90s baby is here to stay. <laughs> and I honestly, I have no problem with the 90s. I love a good grunge moment. I love grungy makeup. Plaids just in general make me a very happy girl. It's just one of my favorite patterns of all time. It's just when I think about the spring and summer for 2023, and I think about like the South and the Southwest, I find it hard to imagine like somebody who's living in a climate of say 100 degrees is gonna just go and grab their flannel for the sake of being fashionable, you know what I mean? <laughs> with all that being said, I could totally see like a, like a heathered gray plaid t-shirt mixed with like a boxy slouchy pair of like boyfriend style jeans and a crossbody Burberry bag or something like that with some sneakers and some tennis shoes being a really easy and fun way to incorporate the plaid trend without going overboard. And that would work for the majority of the US population who's living in, you know, a hundred plus degree weather, which we've been seeing in the spring and summer months in the last couple of years. Lippy stick, lippy stick. Hopefully it stays this time. Ha 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 ha. So they're calling the next trend, and excuse me, I just put lipstick on because, you know. So they're calling the next trend that we're gonna be talking about silver linings. And basically that means like silver metallic anything. So silver metallic dresses, accessories, nails, jeans, anything that you can put that looks like chromatic <laughs> silver on your body is gonna be very on trend for the spring and summer months. This is definitely a trend that I can get behind because really and truly, metals really never go out of style, like neutral metals, which is like silver metals, gold metals, rose gold metals. You're gonna be seeing those year after year, and we have been seeing year after year after year. So it's something that you probably already have in your closet. You can take it out and use it in new and interesting ways. And not to mention that if you don't have it, if you do wanna incorporate it into your everyday wardrobe, it's a very inexpensive fabric to get. So I know for a fact that Walmart had like silver pleated metallic skirts. I mean, they were so cute. They were really fun and they made an amazing statement. All right, y'all, that is going to do it for our spring, summer 2023 fashion trend video. I hope y'all found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. As always, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy. And I'm gonna be seeing y'all very, very soon. Bye.